Thank you for your interest in the BioQuick LP. The fourth generation of this self-ligating bracket system from Forestident is now available and features a number of innovations. For example, the height of the anterior brackets has been reduced by 0.3 mm. This makes the upper and lower anterior brackets much flatter than their predecessors, hence the designation LP, low profile. In addition, the bracket is more rounded at the mesial and distal edges, making it much more comfortable to wear. A further improvement is the system for opening the brackets from the gingival direction. The previous guide notch has now been replaced by a much larger funnel-shaped guide channel. This makes it much easier to position the probe and open the clip reliably and effectively. The clip itself has been completely redesigned. The material is thicker, making the clip less susceptible to deformation. What's more, the increased thickness of the clip makes it more powerful and makes angulation, rotation and torque more controllable. The clip now closes with a distinct click. Furthermore, the shape of the clip has been optimized. The rectangular design ensures even better rotation control. The improved clip is especially advantageous when pronounced vertical arch wire movements are required, as for example with raised canines. Thanks to the clip's greater strength and new rectangular shape, the wire is held firmly in the slot at all times. In addition, four contact ribs in the slot ensure that the wire only makes contact at four points and can therefore slide through the slot with a minimum of friction and without binding or notching. BioQuick LP brackets have a secondary 16 by 16 slot to enable super elastic springs or the ortho easy pin system to be used. The base is anatomically curved with a painted hook system for a secure grip. Three-dimensional measurements were taken from more than 4,000 natural teeth from all over the world. The results were used to calculate the ideal base pad contour to give the best possible fit onto the tooth surface. Further modifications have been made to the edge of the base to improve placement and positioning. You'll be amazed at just how easy it is to bond the bracket to the tooth. Hook-shaped undercuts provide the best possible retention. They are incorporated at the injection molding stage, which means that the body of the bracket consists of a single piece of stainless steel, thus eliminating the risk of contamination through extraneous matter introduced during welding or soldering. After applying the layer of composite, place the gingival edge of the bracket on the tooth and then press the bracket against the tooth surface so as to expel the excess adhesive in an occlusal direction. The anatomically curved base pad is perfectly matched to the natural shape of each individual tooth so that the bracket fits firmly without rocking. The ridge around the base pad prevents adhesive from penetrating the mechanism when the bracket is pressed against the tooth. Always use the new BioQuick collared probe to open the clip. There are three distinct ways to open the clip. From the gingival direction, using the new funnel-shaped guide channel. From the gingival direction, using the probe as a positioning guide. And from the vestibular direction. Whichever method is used to open the clip, the bracket should first be cleaned since plaque and tartar can otherwise cause obstructions. When using the guide channel to open the clip from the gingival direction, place the tip of the probe into the enlarged guide funnel and push the clip gently towards the occlusal. For this purpose, a probe with an angle of approximately 45 degrees has proven to be ideal. The clip can also be opened from the gingival direction by using the positioning collar at the top of the probe. To do this, insert the probe into the gingival side of the bracket. Then, position the tip of the probe so that the groove behind the special collar of the probe seats firmly on the bar between the two gingival wings of the bracket. Then tip the probe towards the gingiva to open the clip. It is generally recommended to open the clip from the gingival direction. However, it is also possible to open it from a vestibular or labial direction if necessary. To do this, 
insert the tip of the probe into the hole in the clip and slide the clip towards the occlusal surface. When opening the clip from the vestibular direction, avoid levering the clip, since this can damage it. The tip of the new BioQuick probe is specially designed to prevent involuntary leverage from causing damage. A useful trick is to hold the probe horizontally with four fingers of one hand and rest your thumb on the tip of the tooth. This makes it impossible to accidentally use the probe as a lever. You can use the tip of the collared probe to open the brackets of anteriors from the vestibular side simply by holding the probe as you would a ball pen. Please note that the design of the collared probe makes it unsuitable for opening quick clear ceramic brackets from the gingival direction. An additional probe is available for opening the clip from the vestibular direction. The new two-pronged probe can be used to open the clip by rotating the probe. The advantage of this is that the force exerted is restricted to the bracket body clip system and therefore more comfortable for the patient. To open the clip, insert one of the two prongs of the probe into the hole of the clip. The other prong should rest next to it on the same plane. Now rotate the probe carefully in the direction of the prong inside the hole. When you do this, the loose prong slides along the gingival bar of the bracket whilst the other one pushes the clip open. Please note that the two-pronged probe should not be used for the quick clear ceramic bracket since this can damage the bar between the gingival wings of the bracket. To open the clips of the BioQuick LP brackets, please use only genuine BioQuick probes from Forestodent. Their dimensions are specially matched to the bracket in order to prevent any damage from occurring. Once the arch wire has been inserted, use the arch wire director to press it down against the base of the slot and close the clip by applying gentle finger pressure. If a clip should become damaged during the course of treatment, it can be easily replaced. To do this, open the clip from the gingival direction. Then insert an explorer into the vestibular hole of the clip and rotate it gently toward the incisal surface until the clip breaks off. Now, Insert the explorer from the gingival direction in order to remove the rest of the clip. Even if you can't see the rest of the clip, you will still find it easy to remove. To insert a new clip, ensure that the bracket is free of pluck. Then pick up the new clip with a fine pair of pliers and insert it into the bracket. For this purpose, we recommend using a Matthew needle holder. Press the tongue of the clip gently into the occlusal slit in the bracket. Once the clip is clicked into place, it can be closed in the usual way by applying gentle finger pressure. Because the night eye biostarter exerts a relatively low amount of force, experienced orthodontists recommend using size 12 wires in the first instance. With especially sensitive patients, the biostarter size 10 wire should be used because this enables even less force to be applied. Up to a wire thickness of 18 by 18 or 16 by 22, the clip is passive so that the arch wire can slide through it with almost no friction at all. With larger dimensions, the clip becomes active. Torque and angulation can now be transferred in an ideal manner. Wires of 22 by 25 fill a size 22 slot completely and 18 by 25 wires fill a size 18 slot. Please note that rectangular wires must not be inserted until the leveling phase is complete otherwise the wire may not be fully seated in the base of the slot and it could be damaged by the closing action of the clip. For users who want to combine active and passive functions in certain clinical situations, such as for the purposes of gap closure or who simply prefer passive brackets, the BioPassive bracket is still available in addition to the active BioQuick. The slot of this bracket is deeper so that the greater clearance enables the bracket to slide passively along a rectangular wire. The ideal way to debond the BioQuick bracket is by using a pair of band removal pliers. The hook-shaped undercuts on the underside of the pad retain most of the adhesive during debonding. This saves time since only a minimum of adhesive needs to be removed from the tooth. Test the BioQuick LP for yourself. This latest generation of the BioQuick bracket system gives you reduced chair side time, 
fast treatment results, and satisfied patients.